ظرفیتی وجود داره به 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 آشنایی با استخراج ارزهای های دیجیتال میخوام یه فیلم با هم ببینیم تا من این فیلم رو برای شما میزنم یه لحظه من اینجا رو ببندم که سرعت کارمون کم نشه من این ویدیو رو شما باز بکنم که شما هم بتونید ازش استفاده کنید Technically, you're supposed to wear ear protection. <laughs> FYI. <laughs> We do. We are. All right. We've got their mobile residents. The airflow I was telling you about, that's coming out from under the building there. So see that's, you know, it helps it's freezing outside, but even when it's really hot outside, this is cold air because it's that air that's coming that runs under the building. I want to say thanks to immersionsystems.io for sponsoring the Bosscoin Mining Farm Tour video series. Without them, this wouldn't have been possible at all. If you watched episode one of season one, then you will have seen us tour Mark's mining farm where he utilizes immersion systems immersion cooling setup. Top quality gear, and Mark was one of their first customers, and so he's one of their oldest customers, and he could be happier with it. Originally made for their own personal money farms that they've now brought to market. If you want to set up, reach out to them. Your GPU guys, I'll just show you this right over here. You'll see if we step by side. These are all, all these are all the, our GPU based operations. We'll go out this front door up here and walk down the aisle. is we're mixing the hot air with the cold air because you can't get the cold air too much so like we'll open these doors there's you'll see some rolling doors to go down the building um, there's a uh, six of these in the building this this room we're in right now but you'll see we mix the hot air and the cold air that's what we're doing here with these doors open is we're just letting some of the hot air back into the building keep the cold air from being too much because the cold air is just as bad for a tip as hot air is So did you have a custom case design made? Our client, that's our client's custom cases. So this is set up, we basically let one client know that we we're going to give them this entire row for GPUs all the way down. So basically um, what we're doing is you 
see some rows over there where the ASICs are gone. Yeah. We can take one row of ASICs out, and we can fit in like six rows of GPUs for one row of ASICs. So we're taking some of the ASICs, moving them outside, so that we can fill this with GPUs. That makes uh, sense because, I mean, I feel like with the ASICs, they're just kind of like using the. You yeah. put them out like in the like the shipping container style, but with it. I wouldn't really yeah. want to put a, I would, a, I would, a I more expensive and more uh, yeah. finicky, finicky. Uh, finicky. Uh, so with GPU, GPU rig out like with that. The GPUs, um, they take up a lot of space oh, as that. well. Yeah. Yeah. And this, this, that's the best design for farms and stuff because you can just stack them like that. Yeah. And yeah. it's kind of. The first, it's a little like weird in the beginning, but it totally yeah. works. Yeah, you got the same thing as the other side, just rows of miners. <laughs> and Russell, you have access to like basically unlimited more power, right? Like if you want more power, they can supply more power. So it might it, be it doesn't some quite work that way. It has to do with the amount of distribution on the lines, substation, all that. Yeah. So they've told us they can bring in another uh, four megawatts into this facility, and we have room for it. You said another 40? Yeah. Another, another four? four. Oh, yeah. No, it's a good bit. Yeah. But they have to build out the distribution, so they have to build in more distribution. And do they do they do that for free, or do you have to pay for that? They pay for that. Yeah, because it is expensive. Yeah, no, I bet. I like how I like how you built the uh, the power supplies directly into the units. Um, I forget you know, the exact term for it, but instead of having all the plugs, yeah. you got them straight into the box. It looks cleaner. There's a bunch of spondulas over here in the corner. So this is the largest deployment of spondulas in the world for the for the stack network. They better love you. <laughs> yeah. So you're who I was competing against when I had an SPX 36. Today we're going to be reviewing the Spawn Dooley's SPX 36, which is an X11 miner that debuted for over 15 grand. But it's a lot less now. I know what you're thinking. What is that sound? It's pretty loud. It's not my exhaust fans. That's actually the SPX 36. What enough talk, probably. It was your reason that I was only making maybe 20 a day. We go inside. دیدین که چه صدای زیادی از این دستگاه ها به گوش می رسید و خب توضیح هم داد که اینا این صدای خروجیه و مرتبط با این کارت های گرافیکی که ازش داره استفاده میشه. ببینید تعریف یه فارم دقیقا همین چیزی بود که ما اینجا با هم دیدیم و خب برهاد اگر داریم از فارم صحبت میکنیم اگر مثلا تو مجموعتون دارن فکر میکنن برای اینکه بیان یه فارم بیت کوین بزنن یا قسمتی از منابع مالیشون رو بیان درگیر یه همچین پروژه ای بکنن در نظر داشته باشین که تو ادبیات استخراج فارم به چه معنایی هست و خب مهمه که ما از این مسئله یه حس درستی داشته باشیم ببینید سه تا روش وجود داره برای استخراج یا استخراج از طریق سی پی یو که مربوط به سالهای ابتدایی این کاره وقتی سختی شبکه خیلی پایین بود بعد از اون تبدیل شد یعنی مثلا اون موقع با لپتاپ میتونستی این کار انجام بدی یه چیز حدود مثلا اون ابتدا هر بلاکی که حل میشد پاداشش 50 بیت کوین بود همون رفقایی داشتیم که 1500 تا و 7500 تا از دست داده بودن خب اینو با لپتاپ این کار کردن و اون موقع به حالا ما کجا بودیم خواب بودیم بیدار بودیم خدا میدونه ولی چرا ما یه از همچین فرصتی استفاده نکردیم و بعدها کار سختتر میشه سختی شبکه بیشتر میشه احتیاج به دستگاه قدرتمندتری به وجود میاد که میرن سراغ جی پی و کارت های گرافیکی و در نهایت هم ایسی که میبینید همین دستگاهی هستش که حالا نمونه شو این عکس سمت چپ پایین تصویر من گذاشتم شاید اینو دیده باشین توی این سایت های مختلف هم میفروشن اینا رو و خب مدل های استخ... استخراجی ها به صورت انفرادی یعنی شما مثلا یه باقی دارید یه فضایی دارید از این ظرفیت استفاده میکنید به این کار میفردازید یا یه به قول معروف با یک سری 
ماینر های دیگه ایجاد یک ماینینگ پول انجام میدید یه استخر استخراج درست میکنید و تمام منابعتون رو اونجا با هم شیر میکنید که قدرت این هش پاورتون بره بالاتر تا بتونید بیت کوین 